you know, we just always try to do what's best for the team. And, you know, after talking about it with, with Craig and John and, and myself, um, you know, we had both those guys in here to work out. And, um, you know, it was, it was a really good workout. And, again, we feel comfortable now um, going forward here with Cody. What did Cody show uh, uh, in that first workout that, you know, maybe didn't push him up past Cairo? Well, yeah, it was, again, it was really close. I mean, I think they, they all made everything um, that we asked them to kick. It was a very competitive workout, a very good workout. And, um, you know, in the end, you have to make decisions. And, you know, so we've, we've moved on now here to Cody, and, and we'll get started with that here today. What makes you think, Mike, um, or, or can you be sure that, that he's kind of things mentally from last year. Uh, you know, we, we just have to make sure that we're doing everything we can to get him ready for the game. Denver, um, that's um, it's a huge challenge. Um, we're going to need to to make sure that we score points um, every chance that we get. You know, when we get it down there, their de defense is very good defense, um, not giving up a lot of yards, uh, very good against the pass. So um, that he's just going to be one piece of the, of the puzzle, and you know, we'll work with him here like we, we do all the other players. Being with the team. Uh, you know, that's the thing that that's always, um, you know, when you sign guys, the, the role is is really yet to be determined. They define their role by um, what they can do on the practice field, what they can handle, um, learning the game plan, um, what their role can be on special teams, on fourth down, uh, and then we'll decide, I think, as things kind of go, you know, further. But it's a, you know, he's a versatile piece that's played. He's carried the football. He's played some fullback. Um, has played on special teams. AJ Brown had a career high, albeit a young career high in snaps. What was behind him getting more snaps? And is that something you look to go to going forward? Uh, you know, we want to all just make sure that everybody um, understands what their job is on each and every play. And um, like like a lot of players or young players, you know, trying not to overload them and, and, and move them around and do a bunch of stuff with them and, and try to make sure that they know what to do on a, on a consistent basis and, and can play fast and aggressive and let their talents um, shine on the field. And I think that's what, you know, all we're trying to do is, is the more guys can handle, the, the more we'll give them. And, um, you know, he's shown that. But, you know, we have to, I think, always be careful of how much um, you're asking uh, a guy to do um, you know, formationally, making minor changes to plays may not seem much for a veteran player, but sometimes a young player is just conscious of of making sure that they're they're fully committed to their job so that they can execute. Well, you, may have expand, or you, you may have referenced Monday that we were looking to maybe expand the role of Dennis Kelly. Is that, is that am I accurate there? And could you expand on that? Well, I mean, I just said it was an option. I mean, we have options now. I mean, I think we have more options. And, um, you know, again, we'll, we, we were – a little heavy if you look at the roster, you know, at O linemen, but you know there were injuries there. There were things that were happening, um, and so you know we just have to try to make sure that everybody knows what to do. They're playing with great effort, you know, and up front, you know, they block their guy. It's a big, big one-on-one -on -one matchup game for us this this week. I mean, they're you know be critical that everybody focuses on their one-on-one -on -one matchups and, and wins those across the board on all three phases. Mm, no, I don't think so. Where you with Tom Field and where has been as far as him trying to work his way back into conversation? Um, well, like any player that comes back from injury, um, you have to be able to you know, go through the return to play. And, and he got some reps last week. And, you know, I felt responded okay physically. And then we'll kind of see where it is here today going forward. In your experience coaching, when you have a player who understands the mental aspect and understands what what they're supposed to do, but is failing to execute. When that happens, is there a theme with all those kind of guys, or is it a case by case basis as to why that's happening? Um, you know, I think that just the important thing to remember is, you know, just just being smart and knowing what to do um, isn't enough in this league. I think that there's execution that that has to take place, and um, I think as players, you know. I was always given a, a, a blueprint. I was always given a, you know, a, a playbook, given a diagram. And we talk about the details of being able to uh, bring that picture to life. This isn't the first time that we've talked about this, and it's not the first time I've 
try to talk to the team like that. Like, here's the route. This is what the route might look like on paper. Here's what the route looks like against man coverage. Here's what the route looks like on zone coverage. Here's where the defensive fit is. Um, but sometimes, it, and a lot of times, it doesn't always go uh, like that picture. So just to be able to, to adjust and uh, have, have instincts to, you know, I, maybe the guy was in three yards closer to the line of scrimmage than, he, than we thought he would be. We thought we'd be three yards deeper. So th there's just a, there's a lot that goes into it. And once you get out there, being instinctive and, and playing with awareness and, and ultimately uh, doing your job. At Denver, is it, was the running game, I guess, the thing that jumps out at you most? Well, well, I think they're they're with a, you know that's going to be a huge key is is to be able to to the best of our ability um, c control these runners. You know, obviously, veteran quarterback has seen a lot. Um, two really dynamic players with different skill sets on the edges, but but with Lindsey and Freeman, you know, combining for 33 really targets or touches a game either handing it to them or throwing it to them. Uh, that's a lot of production. They had a, they had a great day uh, in San Diego. Um, so that's probably a lot of confidence with them coming in. On the opposite side of that, the run defense for the Broncos hasn't been spectacular. But how much do you plan to kind of continue to work Derek in this game uh, and kind of just grind it with them? Well, I mean, I think there's things that we'll always try to do every week. And you know, certainly Derek's a part of that. He's a big part of that. Um, but. You know, we, we have to you know, function as an offense and, and be able to throw the football um, and take 11 guys and understand their job and how they fit into the, the play pass, the protection, um, the route, the timing. Is it man coverage or zone coverage? Um, you know, this week, you know, obviously making sure Von Miller doesn't you know, wreck the play before it gets started. He's a very explosive, um, disruptive player who's um, done it for a lot of years. Has beefing up Marcus given you uh, to this point just, just what you were hoping for? Well, he's been there every snap. So we talked about you know, how, how critical durability is in this league, um, that, that you're able to come out and play um, and, and be available and, and be out there. So um, you know, I, I'm. I guess the durability um, has been there. Does the week begin with maybe a little bit more opti optimism about getting Cam back, or is that to be determined? I think those are all things that are um, yet to be determined. Uh, just kind of see where he's at today and move forward um, as the week progresses. Will he practice? Uh, I may be limited, but I can't answer that until we see kind of how he looks. We, we like guys to try to focus on what they can do and what they, as, as opposed to what they can't. And so in saying that, you know, we'd like to try to see you know, what he can do and then we'll make a um, determination after that, after he warms up or does or doesn't go through individual. As a coordinator, Vic Fangio, his defenses have consistently been good. What is it that stands out about his defenses? Is it the inside linebackers, the edge? What, well, I mean, I think traditionally they've always had very good pass defense. He's very good. Um, mixing coverage, it's a very good scheme, but you know the, the players play hard, and it, you know it's always about um, the the players. You know they have, they have good players, and they're they're play with great fundamentals up front at the line of scrimmage. Um, safeties are active; they, they trigger. Um, you know the, the corners, um, I think, can play man, can play zone. It's something that it's it's a versatile uh, defense. So. They've always, you know, he's all, Vic's always done well. He's a great coach. Um, but to, to be a great coach, you have to have great players. Um, we'll see. I don't think um, one of those two probably won't be out there. Yeah. You know, I mean, I think it's, it, it's always hard. I think we have a lot of specifics and maybe we do things differently than, than whatever he was, you know, doing in Green Bay and, so there's things that um, have, have helped us, and there's things that we're just going to continue to try to improve um, some of maybe the details that, you know, in our certain call or in our package that were a little different than, than maybe what he was doing in Green Bay. But, you know, he's helped us on the edge. He's helped us um, on, you know, on special teams. Roger Sample saying Monday that uh, still kind of getting used to different coaching and combining that with, I think he said, his own flavor. 
Uh, is that is that transition or, or adjustment taking a little bit longer than anticipated? Uh, we're we're going to focus on improving here this week and, and seeing if we can block um, Wolf and, and Harris um, and, and all those guys, Walker and, and all those guys for Denver. Um, however, we we can. We're, we're going to try to practice, prepare, learn who to block, and, and and do our best to block our guy. So does his transition need to be complete in order to block those guys? I, I, we, we all have to just be better with whatever transition um, you know we're making. Wouldn't make it harder than what it is. That's what I'm trying to focus to the team. Like let's just let's go practice, play. Um, don't let one play determine the outcome of the series or the game or the half or the quarter. Like there's going to be bad plays. We're going to miss a block. We're going to drop a ball. We're going to miss a tackle. Those things are going to happen, but we have to come back. We have to line up, communicate with the guy next to us, and, and go compete. What is it that Dalen does well that, that makes you guys like him so much? Um, you know, we thought he had when he was available in preseason. He's got a good burst. Um, I feel like he goes hard. And um, one cut runner who's pretty violent in his cut. So. Um, I think he's improving. I think that he doesn't lack willingness. You know, size, I would say, um, is something that he can't do anything about. But I think he's improving. 